lot of uh, inquiries about how I made my crate seats um, from the video that I had. So I said I was going to go show you guys um, what all I did. Um, it's going to be a few pieces, parts to this video. So there's that. Um, so what I do typically is just I go to Home Depot and I get a quarter inch plywood. Um, depending on how many seats that I make, it depends on the type of plywood that I get. Um, I'm going to turn the video so that you guys can see it. So they have this quarter inch two by two plywood and that literally is a just a regular square. Um, that's pretty good for probably maybe about one seat just because of how big it is. But then they also have this quarter inch two by four plywood. Um, same thing. This will probably give you about two seats, just depending on how big it is and how big your crates are, um, things like that. And then... My husband went off and left me while I was getting wood cut but um, pretty much I just had the guy cut the sheets to fit directly in there these are three sheets put together it was 15 and uh, three quarters by 12 and a half there are three sheets so it ends up looking like this and then it fits snug right in there this crate seat was given to me by my coworker. she's actually wanting me to make one for her and then next what we're going to do is we are going to get the foam cushions and the fabric to go on top and then you will have a full crate seat all righty it is fabric picking time you guys so what i really like to do um when i am picking fabric if it is just like one or two seats the easiest and probably cheapest way to go is to get like a fabric quarter from walmart they're like less than two dollars for the fabric quarter i'm really looking for another one of these because my coworker said that she wanted a rainbow color but i think this is the only one they have I'm looking, looking, looking. Those of you who saw my crate seats last year, I did a lemon theme and I had like the limes, the lemon. This is all where I got it from. But I think what I'm going to do for my coworker, since I cannot find another rainbow one, I'm going to do multiple colored pencils. It kind of still gives you that rainbow theme. They have two of them, which is really cool. Um, and they will fit perfectly how it is going to fit. Um, so yep, after you pick out the fabric, I am at Walmart right now. So really, really simple, easy way to pick out fabric. I'm going to go and pick out the foam that you glue onto the top of it so that it is nice and cushiony. All right, so I finally found the foam. Don't laugh at me. I literally was in the wrong aisle for about four minutes before I realized it was the wrong aisle. Um, but yeah, so uh, it is called fabric foam. There's this right here. Most people use it for like chair upholstering and I like it because it's two inches thick and um, it's really, you know, when the kids sit on it, it's not gonna like die <laughs> a horrible death as a seat. For like forever however I do just want to say that um, inflation sucks when I was um, making my crate seats about six years ago uh, they were not this expensive the foam seat seating cushions were maybe about four or five bucks when I made it for myself um, and now they're like pushing $11 for foam 
and I'm making three of them. Two of them are for my coworker. So I am gonna recruit some of that, but that third one is for me, uh, just cause I actually thought I broke more crate seats last year um, and they weren't broken. I just uh, didn't put them on there right. So next final step is putting it all together. I have um, the other materials at home. I have a glue gun at home. I have the staple gun at home. And so now it's just putting it all on there and having a full seat once we're done. All right. the finished product I actually did this and realized I should probably film how I actually made it for you guys um, some of the materials that I need are the foam you guys saw me get that I like to cover mine in clear contact vinyl um, just it makes it easier to wipe off um, my plywood that I got cut, it is 15 and, and a three quarters by uh, 12 and a half. And so what I do, how I start is I open it all and I cut the ply or the foam to fit the plywood. So I'm sitting here. It probably would be easier to use like a um, X-Acto knife or what have you. However, I left my X-Acto knife in my classroom because I was using it to put up bulletin boards. So there's, it's not exactly like perfect, perfect, but it will do and it fits right on top of the board. Very little overlapping. Um, what I would love to do is hot glue it to the seat. However, my lovely children lost all of my hot glue sticks. So I am stuck with no hot glue. So I'm doing the best I can. You can just get these corners on here. Once you put that fabric on, it will cover up the fact that it is not 100% stuck on there. <clears throat> so there's that my fabric that I am using I decided on the crayons as you saw in my last video you're gonna take the crayons you're gonna line it up and it might seem like it is off a bit but what you are going to do is you're going to stretch it and pull it till you can staple it and I have my lovely staple gun where I am going to staple this all to the plywood on the back. I like to do the long sides first. Don't ask me why. It just feels like I am wrapping a gift when I do it like that. Long sides first. And you just staple. All through. 